Good afternoon, everyone. Now, we have already taken a series of lectures for TYBC, Analytical Chemistry student. Now, in this, this is a lecture which is very different as previous one. Now, here in this lecture, we are going to learn about the uh, practical, TYBC practical. The aim of the practical is to determine the pKa value of given acid by pH metric titration with strong base. Now pKa value we have to determine and weak acid, the pKa value of weak acid is determined and the titration is performed, that is, that is the pH metric titration is performed with strong base. This is the aim of the practical. Now the theory, the theory is associated with this practical is that here dissociation of weak electrolyte or can say the weak acid, the acetic acid acts as a weak acid. Now the dissociation may be represented in this following manner that is CH3COOH that will give acetate ion plus H plus ion. So weak acid is easily dissociated. When the acid is half neutralized, the concentration of acid and the concentration of its salt in the solution will be equal. For a weak acid, the concentration of undissociated acid molecules can be assumed to be unchanged by a small fraction which dissociates to provide the hydrogen ions. The salt can be regarded as a fully dissociated and hence the concentration of acetate ions can be assumed to be equal to that of the salt formed up to any stage of titration. Now these are the equation for the dissociation uh, constant. Now, K is the equilibrium constant or can say dissociation constant and it is the ratio of concentration of acetate ion into concentration of H plus divided by concentration of acetic acid. Now here, if we take this ratio, so this ratio is approximately equal to 1. So K is equal to approximately concentration of H plus ion. If we take minus log to the both sides, then minus log of K is equal to minus log of concentration of H plus ion. Now we know the pH is defined as negative log to the base 10 of concentration of H plus ion. Now here pH minus log of concentration of H plus that is nothing but the pH and uh, minus log of Ka that is nothing but the pKa and we have to calculate the pKa value. Now here apparatus are required, we, have, we required pH meter, calomel and gas, glass electrode or we can say combined electrode. Now calomel and glass electrode are, are also called as a combined electrode, birate, pipette and magnetic stirrer or we can say the stirrer. Now here chemicals are required which are point one normal approximately given acetic acid or we can say given weak acid, 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide. 0.05 molar potassium hydrogen thalate and it's the pH should be 4. Now pH, is, a pH should be 4 means what? The potassium hydrogen thalate is approximately have the pH 4. So it is used for the standardization of pH meter. The pH meter can be standardized also in terms of buffer capsule pH 4 and pH 7 respectively. The solution uh, of pH 4 capsule and pH 7 capsule are prepared in 100 ml distilled water and uh, they are subjected to the pH of corresponding values 4 and 7 with the help of pH meter and we will standardize in this manner. Again pH meter can be standardized electronic buffer way. Electronic buffer wire can be used for this purpose. Now here in this practical pH 4 that is potassium hydrogen thalate can be used as a uh, standardized to, to standardize the pH meter. Now procedure is given, standardize the pH meter using 0.05 molar potassium hydrogen thalate solution. Now here take a 20 ml of given acid, acetic acid or weak acid and about 30 ml of water in 100 ml beaker. So let us take 100 ml beaker and in, in, into that we have to add 20 ml uh, acetic acid and 30 ml water. So uh, make up the volume up to 50 ml. Place the stirrer or you can say magnetic stirrer, you can say magnetic needle and calomel glass electrode into the beaker. See that the electrodes are properly dipped into the solution. So here 
we have to adjust uh, in this way fix the burette uh, fix burette containing the strong base that is 0.5 normal NaOH above the beaker measure the pH of the acid solution now we have to add here 0.5 ml of 0. Uh, 0.3 ml of 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide from the burette to the acid solution stir well and note the pH of the solution now initially uh, uh, let us uh, before going to add 0.5 normal NaOH we have to take the measure of the pH of the normal solution that is the acetic acid solution and then increments of uh, successive increments of 0.3 ml of uh, 0.5 normal NaOH that should be added from the burette to the test solution now repeat the procedure by adding 0.3 ml NH each time. Record the pH of the solution at each time and continue the addition of sodium hydroxide solution till the end point exceeds by 2 ml. Now here the can say uh, probably uh, the end point should be not more than 2 ml. So we have to uh, the end point should we, we get the end point in between 2 to 2.5 that is expected value. Now this is the assembly, we can say diagrammatic representation of the practical. When we subject uh, no, when we subject to the practical or we can say when we go through the practical at that time we uh, we get the observation and observation table and when we add not a 0.3 ml we have to add 0.5 ml when we successively add 0.5 ml up to a volume of 15.5 maximum 15.5 we get the ph transition from 4.57 to 10.50 so we get the transition for, from this values to to these values and now here delta v the delta v is a constant term we can say delta v is nothing but the 0 0.5 minus 0 1 minus 0 0.5 1.5 minus 1 so we get the corresponding delta v for that particular row and this is the ph uh, is obtained from the ph meter now delta ph now delta ph to calculate the delta ph value we have to take the successive ratio in between uh, <coughs> rows it is 4.65 minus 4.57 so the value is 0 0.08 4.66 minus 4.65 the value is 0.01 4.74 minus 0, 4.66 so the value is 0 0.08 4.81 minus 4.74 and uh, the value is 0 0.07 and so onwards the value are calculated with this way so that is p2 minus p1 that is delta ph p2 minus p1 here p2 minus p1 here p2 minus p1 here also p2 minus p1 so corresponding delta well, delta p h values are obtained now let us take the delta ph upon delta v now delta ph this is the delta ph and this is the delta v which is a constant that is a difference in ml and that is a 0 0.5 ml and for, uh, we take the ratio that is 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.5 that is the answer is 0 0.16 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.5 the answer is 0 0.02 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.5 that is the answer is 0 0.16 0 0.07 divided by 0 0.5 the answer is 0 0.14 and so the onwards values are calculated now the mean v now mean, mean V is calculated in this way 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 plus 0 divided by 2 so the value is 0 0.225 again 1 plus 0 0.5 that means the value is 0 0.75 1.5 plus 1 the value is 0 1.25 2 plus 2 point, uh, 2 plus 1.5 the value is 1.75 so in this way we can calculate the uh, values uh, remaining values up to 15.25 now we get the observation table in this way and the calculations are performed. Now to calculate, now pk is equal to minus log of k. We know that formula, or we have already studied in theory. pk is equal to minus log of k. So minus pk is equal to log of k. <coughs> if you take the anti-log, if you take the anti-log, uh, then on both sides if you take the anti-log, anti-log of minus pk is equal to, here anti-log log will get cancelled we get the k only so k is equal to anti log of minus k so k is equal to anti log of minus k this, this is the la, la, say, this is line k is equal to anti log of minus k <coughs> anti log of now we we get this value 5.3 minus pk that is minus pk is nothing only minus 5.3 so how this value is calculated calculate let us see 
this is the first graph now we get, we uh, we have already uh, learn about the observation table where we have calculated the delta ph upon delta v value now here ml of nh added that is nothing but the ml of nh sometimes we can calculate uh, x axis with the help of uh, delta delta v or we can say mean v if we if we, if we go through the mean v or either or our condition should be there either you can perform the ml of nh added or you can perform the mean v delta ph upon delta v versus ml of nh the graph is plotted and the graph is like this way this is like a paris tower this is a paris tower is obtained you can say or you can say high culmination or high peak point is obtained now the high peak point corresponding value is to uh, that intersect to x axis to the 9.4 ml so this should be the equivalence point this should be the equivalence point of the titration so it, the, it is expected to be the uh, equivalence point lies 9.4 value now the next one is next 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 graph is here uh, ph versus ml of nh is plotted we have already uh, take, uh, we have already learned in previous graph the value is 9.4 we have to intersect 9.4 value uh, to the x axis and corresponding uh, y to the y axis it's uh, it also extrapolated or intersected but accordingly uh, henderson equation now uh, henderson equation tells that uh, the uh, equilibrium concentration of salt should be the half of the obtained value now so 9.4 so 9.4 divided by 2 that is 4.7 here 9.4 divided by uh, 2 that is a 4.7 so uh, whatever the value is obtained here uh, that is value is obtained from the henderson equation and that 4.7 ml inter is intersected to the x axis now uh, uh, when when we intersect at the same time we intersect to the y axis y axis that is the ph axis and the value is 5.3 so this is the major value which we have we which uh, we, are, we are interested in that values so here 5.3 the pk is equal to 5.3 now here the formula uh, pk ma, pk is equal to minus log of k we should use that uh, formula to calculate the corresponding values for k now here this uh, again i will repeat the same here 9.4 ml is uh, obtained from the previous graph that should be extrapolated to the uh, x axis and y axis again uh, 9.4 divided by 2 that should be the value is 4.7 the 4.7 is the value 4.7 ml that should be intersected to the x axis that is ml of any which added and further it should be intersected to the y axis so that we get the ph uh, axis uh, ph value corresponding to 5.3 and we know the uh, already we have already uh, we have already learned about that minus log of k is equal to minus log of ph so we can we are interested in this in these values so pk is equal to minus uh, pk value pk is equal to 5.3 now here anti log of here pk is equal to minus log of k minus pk is equal to log of k minus sin c is shifted towards the right hand side so minus pk is equal to log of k no no that is the left hand side minus pk is equal to log of k now take anti log on both side if you take anti log then anti log log k is there so anti log of minus pk is equal to now anti log log will get cancelled the remainder is here only k a and here anti log of minus pk so k is equal to anti log of minus pk we, we shift the right hand side and left side, left hand side opposite to each other k is equal to minus log of k is equal to anti log of minus 5.3 that is a pk a value that is nothing but the ph value so here we put this value 5.3 and the k is equal to that k is calculated that is minus 5 here mantis size is minus 5 we have to subtract that mantis from minus 1 so minus 5 minus 1 now plus 1 is again added this is the arrangement for the convenience to calculate the pk uh, ka value minus 5 minus 1 plus 1 minus 0 0.33 minus 0 0.3 triple 0 now when plus 1 minus 0 0.3 is subtracted the value is, the value is 0 0.7 triple 0 again minus 5 minus 1 that is a minus 6 here minus 6 minus 6 is the mantisa now if you take the anti log of only this side 0 0.7 double triple 0 0 0.7 triple 0 if you uh, take the mantisa the man uh, we can say we can say the log if you take the anti log 
ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन द वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन टू एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी माइनस सिक्स हियर वैल्यू नो माइनस सिक्स वेन वी टेक द एंटी लॉग एट द टाइम प्लस वन इज एडेड सो माइनस सिक्स प्लस वन विथ द वैल्यू इज माइनस फाइव सो द एंसर इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन टू दिस इज अ माइनस दिस इज अ प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस फाइव सो द वैल्यू कैन बी राइटिंग कैन बी रिटर्न एज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दैट इज अ फाइव जीरो अगेन फाइव जीरो वन टू सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 फाइव जीरो वन टू अगेन यू कैन राइट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स द ओनली हियर वन चेंज इज देयर इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन टू वी हैव टू राइट फाइव पॉइंट जीरो वन टू सो फाइव पॉइंट जीरो वन टू टेन इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स सो दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर द डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर द एसेटिक एसिड नाउ स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू फॉर द डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट दैट दैट शुड बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम दिस एक्सपेरिमेंटल कंडीशन दैट इज फाइव पॉइंट जीरो वन टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स और जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो वन टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस फाइव सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द रिजल्ट हियर द पी के वैल्यू इज फाइव पॉइंट थ्री equivalence point is 4 point uh, equivalence point is 9.4 and the ka value obtained from or calculated from the graph is 0.5012 into 10 to the minus 5 so this is the uh, result table for this uh, can say experiment the standard value for the acetic acid is 1.5 1.8 into 10 to the minus 5 the standard value is 1.8 into 10 to the minus 5 but here calculated value for, from the experimental conditions are 0.5012 into 10 to the minus 5 the value of 1.8 obviously it is higher and from the experiment the value is obtained is 0.5012 so the values must be least uh, must be less as uh, as uh, we can say standard one but uh, there should be human corrections or we can say no instrumental corrections should be there so the value is satisfactory the obtaining value is satisfactory for the ka that is a dissociation constant for the acetic acid or you can say weak acid with this content i conclude this lecture thank you very much for your patience listening